Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farm. It is now August 2, middle August, and uh, we've got a beautiful sunny day and we're going to be busy as always. We've got a lot going on today, I think, if I can recall. Now we have got copious amounts of honey on the go. Our eggs are hopefully producing. Maybe not. They might run out of food again. But on the plus side, looking at the finances, Having our cows fed up again, we've produced another 100 grand's worth of milk to be sold this morning. Now, I was thinking that seems like a little bit too much. I have knocked it down a bit with bringing down the uh, the amount of food that our cows have eaten. But then again, we do have 250 cows. So, I'm not sure that does sound a lot, but we have got a lot going on. And we have struggled a long time to get it here. In the pen, you can see, oh, you just saw that chunk. When it goes down, it goes down in quite a chunk. It looks like there's a lot, but as you can see, nearly 50% of that feed trough is just hay. There's not a lot of anything else in there. So although it looks full, it's all roughage. And we're going to have to be dealing with making our TMR mix with our silage that's ready, our grist, and our silage that we're about to make, hopefully, with our corn. We've got to wait for the corn to ferment before that's then ready to make. So we may end up having to put the silage in to maintain that because it's gonna, feed in there is gonna run out in three days, in three sleeps, and then we're gonna be back to either buying feed or hold it out until the feed is ready. So although it sounds really good, we've now got to work our ass off, or I've now got to work our ass off to maintain it. As soon as we run out of feed or the feed starts slipping, that milk money is gone. So uh, let's get on with our day. We've got a lot of jobs to do. Let's hit the first one. And our first job is gonna be setting a worker up in the Massey, doing the baling of the hay. I was going to try and get this one done off screen, but I've been uh, exceptionally busy and really haven't had a chance. And they are, they're off, they're gone, <laughs> they're doing it, so that's good, they're on the right track. Did wonder where they were going to start with, but they're fine. Now we do have a Deutz with a roller on, that was left rolling overnight, so uh, they should definitely be finished by now. They are out over yonder. Now I'm not sure, I think it's next week that we plant, or not next week, next month that we plant uh, our wheat. I think we did say we could do a big wheat. I'm getting so confused now with the two saves running lots of fields on both of them. I need to take notes. We weren't going to do canola again, were we? Or were we? Pass. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Right, the uh, Deutz is over here. Both these fields have been sorted. They've got good pH. They're rolled. I think most of the stones have gone in. Just little stones. I'm happy with that. We'll get rid of that one. I'm just going to put this one back in the farm. Or back under shelter. And... Uh, I'll study some maps and we'll, uh, before we go off and do the big job of the day, we'll just check that there's nothing else that really needs to be cracked on with. We haven't done the canola field yet. I'm hoping we're going to get time to uh, muck spread here and the, uh, the other two fields once their bales have been collected <laughs> and the, uh, the large form of canola field, get them done before we want to sow wheat in two days. If we can get that all done, that's fine. If there's not going to be time, I will set a worker to uh, slurry spread, since they can do that without sort of my uh, intervention. And uh, since we have done a lot of spreading lately, and we do a lot of slurrying as well, I'm going to skip through this job. And uh, I'll bring you back for today's main job, because it's something different. 
So that's the muck spread on that field. So let's head over to our corn. We'll have a little look at what we've got going on over there. Now I've said I'd find the cheapest I could find. That was back when I thought I didn't have as much money as we do have now. And I'd already arranged the purchase. But we have an old New Holland S2200 with header. We own this. 38 grand. And uh, we can purchase different headers for other crops if you want to do like whole crop silage and stuff like that. Or just to bring in the grass, chop the grass and do. That is something we have. So we now have it. it I believe it is by Schnorkel. That's what, what I want to say. And uh, yeah, if you're interested, I can drop a link in the description. I'm not sure 100% whether this is on the hub or not. But I thought this looks old. This looks pretty cool. Let's give it a try. It probably doesn't work. <laughs> right, but what we need... Come over here, so premature. I was just excited to show it off. Because, you know... That's another one of them little mods that I've been looking forward to using. Sorry, don't know why I spoke like that. Because the screen froze and I froze with it. <laughs> I've been looking forward to using. And uh, just having the right time, the right setting to do it. And this seems like the one. Now, we are going to... So now we could pull, I think we could pull this and load this up with uh, chaff. I want to try that. Because I was going to silage, uh, set the uh, the farmer up for uh, silage. But I think you could just load it into a wagon. If we can, we can fit more of it in there. It's going to be harder to manoeuvre, but we'll give it a try. Why not? Let's have uh, a first attempt fail. Before we hit some success. We've still got poo in the uh, we've still got manure in the manure spreader. Oh, that'll go out tomorrow or even tonight. We'll see how this goes. The small field of uh, corn that is uh, we're going to leave that to ripen, and uh, that's going to be for feed for the chickens. And we may even put some down into the grist so we can do like crack corn, corn grist, that sort of thing. Now. To do this, we're going to set up ourselves a little bit of our words excitement, and we're going to set ourselves up a worker. And I'm going to have to get on the field, which is a little bit annoying. You can set it from off, but I always tend to mess that up more than if I uh, set it up from here and I mess this up enough. So we want a course, plenty of room. Probably four headlands, because it's me. I think that's probably us. Okay, generate. Oh, maybe a bit more. This is going to take a long time. But we've got today and tomorrow to do it. I think that'll be wide enough. So we'll go one more. <laughs> right, so our starting point is over here. Set them off. Now, they shouldn't go without us. Now we've got to try and creep around next to them. Oh, it's working. Is it going in? It is. It is going in. It's only going to be a little, I think. It's filling. Once we've got a few rows in, it'll be smoother. Because there'll be a bit more room for me. I did say there's a chance that we might get rid of some of them trees. Now, the fill is a little bit awkward. Once, If I get close enough, then obviously it, it looks better. Got some chaff coming in now. Yeah, I think this is uh, going to be more efficient than if I was to have gone with this smaller farmer and uh, changed that. Also, the cows have uh, had another little munch on the grass because I swear they've grown through ones. So they're, they're having a munch every day by the looks of it. I think the way that the new or the newer 
uh, the, the, the growth cycle is working. I believe we're running um, Disturbed Simulations version. I'm sure that's the one that uh, Cavalier Roy has permission for. And I think the grass grows a little bit quicker. I haven't fiddled with it, I haven't changed it, but I think it does. Because I, I believe the uh, Disturbs was done with sort of Mace Plus in mind, along with being a little bit more British friendly. But yeah, this is why it's going to take a long time. What are we doing? It's like five, six miles an hour. It's only a little old machine. But I thought, oh, that's just too, too fun to give up on. Uh, will we keep it forever? Probably not. But for 38 grand, I ain't going to grumble. I should imagine a big forage harvester would do, what, nearly twice the width? I've got all day. I'm not in a rush. I'm not going to obviously <laughs> pool around and chat through all of it. We'll, uh, we'll do some time lapses and some jump cuts as we, uh, as we go through it. I want to do this, this one load. Because uh, then I'll probably have to move the uh, baler onto the the other field. And then that's when we'll uh, we'll work up to uh, time lapse or something. Let's get them room. Try and tuck him behind where we can. Pro driver. Look at that. Sometimes I amaze myself, and then when we get round the other side in a minute, I'll get stuck in a tree. So uh, I shouldn't big myself up too much. <laughs> but this is something that I very rarely do. I don't really do corn. And when I do silage, generally I've always done it just enough for my cows, and I just do the grass. So, you know, moving over to corn is a new thing for me. Like I say, I've only ever done it on my... Uh, Scatterbrook Farm series, and that was a long time ago for me. And we only did it then because we uh, ran out of what was it? We ran out of time because it just would not stop raining. We couldn't harvest with the old seasons mod. Uh, not been able to harvest in the rain and all that malarkey. It was good, but we did have a couple of years, I think, where we never got to bring our corn in as corn, and we just kept silaging it and selling it off. Did a lot of uh, potatoes on that one as well. So it was a fun little series. Next time round, we should be able to stay next to the uh, harvester because uh, we'll have this this pre-cut bit to uh, drive a pump. I think what I'll do is we'll uh, go off with this load because we've got to try and empty it anyway and that could be a challenge in itself because we've got to get through the farm and to the, the smaller clan. So if I pull off they should just stop and wait for me. We'll, we'll try and get this one in the clan. So yeah, but this being sort of quite a long job and I want to try and be able to show it since it's something different first time we're doing it here. Um, that's why I didn't show all the muck spreading. just wanted to do something different with you. Got Mount Puvius building up over here on the on the beefers as well. Because we've been doing a lot of slurry spreading. We had a lot of slurry anyway, but we've been doing a lot because I can get the workers to put it straight from the, the, the pit where it's... Uh, it's been a bit of a pain in the bum trying to f figure out what pit's which, because you can't name them or number them. Perhaps I should try and get in the XMLs and just put a number after their name. I don't know. I'm sure if they'll break it. Oh, that went in there alright. So let's have a little empty. Now I do feel my clamps a little bit weird. I like to pack them right up. I like to try and get that nice flat top on them, but that does mean I am prone to leaking because I try and force way too much chaff at the back. How quickly that emptied compared to how long that took to fill. Awesome. Now while we're here, we will just go and check on our baler because they must be nearly done. Now that field is going to need some tidying up afterwards, but so is the next one that they go to work on. So uh, when we collect up, I'll uh, 
I'll clear them myself to tidy it because that's just where they've gone a bit far. Actually, I think he's just got stuck. But to save me having to come back over again, I'll just move them over and uh, put them on the other field. I'll jump back in the, uh, the New Holland and we'll uh, crack on with the chaffing. tried to reduce it so it didn't and uh, well <laughs> it's still one or two so we've had a swap over the worker is following me and I'm now in the harvester and uh, hopefully it will fill quicker I'll, I'll keep the first headland that we did under course play in as you can see what I'm talking about as you can see now we're, we're filling much quicker <laughs> it's gonna be a much quicker job it just means that well, the, the, the harvester stops when I leave, if I'm towing, so it doesn't make no difference. It just means I have to jump out, jump in the tractor, and uh, get it emptied, which is no major hassle. And I think what I'll do is, like before, I'll just now finish on this one, and then get the uh, get the trailer emptied again. It'll be uh, a quite a good percentage, and then we'll try again for a time lapse. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully it'll go a bit smoother, or a bit more progressive, whilst staying reasonably smooth. It's working much better now like I said at the start this is going to take a long time hopefully we'll get it all in by the end of tomorrow because if not it's going to turn into corn and then we can just harvest it anyway if there's anything left over that we can't well we can chaff it once it's fully grown there is still that but you shouldn't really it should be done green but I'm gonna I'm gonna crack on with this probably until about six, half past six, because we should, st should still have good light. I'll be doing this. The <laughs> the worker I set off to do the baling. I I thought I'd saved the route for that meadow. Apparently, I had them. So they're still sitting there waiting. I'm going to do that overnight, so that tomorrow we can just focus on this and a little bit more fertilising. So, like I say, yeah, I'm going to crack on with this now. And uh, I'll, you'll join me probably around about half past six. It's now ten to seven. I managed to get a few more unloads in. You know, there's still a lot on this field. But I think a good solid day on it. And uh, we should be alright tomorrow. I mean, doing the headlands, that, that is a lot of land um, in the equivalence of up and down. I think there's a little bit left in there still. And it wasn't until that last unload that I thought to myself, 
I'm sure we'd probably be able to go a bit quicker with the uh, oh, turned the wrong, <laughs> wrong thing on. Park them so close, I keep jumping in the wrong uh, vehicle. We had to go a bit quicker with the uh, real speed mod. It recommended you sit at the top left there. Recommended work speed 10. I've been running at 8 instead of 6. And uh, yeah, we managed to get a little bit more done. But I'm going to leave them for now because I want to go and get the bailing done before uh, lights are out completely. And then I don't have to worry about that. That is done. The bales um, moving them. That might be a job for tomorrow off screen. Depending on how well the, the harvest goes. Because then uh, then I can get the manure on after. I do want to focus on the field. I'm trying to <laughs> trying to walk using the wheel. Um, what a fool. So yeah. Uh, where, is, where is it? Where is it? It's way down over here. So that's what I'll do. I'll do that until it's just too dark. Now this might mean that today's episode turns out to be a little bit short, depending on how the editing go, because uh, I, <laughs> I can't recall. I don't think I rambled too long at the start, and I just sort of focused on the, uh, the, the corn, the maize. So yeah, I didn't have a, uh, have a course for this, but that's not a problem. I shall uh, crack on. I will put my light on for now. And uh, yeah, I will make you watch me do this. We do a lot of this. I love it. You guys necessarily don't. So uh, with that, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are live. I know a lot of you have recently joined here because of other content. And uh, that's brilliant. But these are my main series. I will continue to do more um, Bull Am Road, but I will be focusing on, on my maps that I'm doing. I'm not going to abandon things because other things come along. I've not done it before. I will do it again. So yeah, stick with me. There, there will be more content in the new year. My other channel will be starting to drop content as well. If you're interested in Mr. Farquhar Plus, where we play other games that aren't necessarily simulation based, check that out I'm going to start and try and start to put a link in the description it is already linked on the home page so yeah if, if you're so inclined to support me elsewhere that would be great but ultimately you guys have a wonderful day have a great week it's coming up to Christmas and uh, yeah just uh, be kind see you soon bye bye